So we're in Luke chapter 21. Jesus is teaching about his great return, which will come at some point in our future. He's also teaching about how we live now in the light of that great return. He's given various instructions on the positive, if you like. You've got to keep being my witnesses, you've got to stand firm, and you've got to be watchful and prayerful. Great. But he also recognises that it will be very easy to get distracted, to forget about that day that is coming, and literally, he says, to fall into a trap. Have a look at sentence 34. Be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and the anxieties of life, and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. I remember once coming across an animal that's foot had been caught in one of those foot traps. That animal was trapped, it was caught, it was in pain, it was in agony, it was in fear. That trap had snapped on it because in a sense it had not been careful and had lived in that moment in a way that had caught it out. So Jesus wants us to be careful, to not allow that day to snap upon us like a trap. And he says there's two ways that our hearts will get weighed down. That's interesting language, isn't it? That our hearts will get, get weighed down and we'll no longer be living in light of that day because our, our hearts are so heavy, so burdened with something. Well, there's two things. Two things Jesus says to be really careful of. The first is being overindulgent, self-indulgent, carousing, drunkenness. They're just examples of a heart attitude that says this life is about indulging myself. This life is about, about me. This life is about feeding into my dreams. This life is about feeding into my ambitions. This life is about achieving what I want to achieve. This life is about me being comfortable. This life is about my preferences and it's all self-indulgent. And it might not come in the form of getting drunk on alcohol or, or living some wild party life. It comes in all sorts of forms. About making sure your bank balance is secure and safe. About making sure you can parade well-respecting children around you. About making sure that you've got the right clothes that look the part or the right haircut or whatever it might be. It might be simply about making sure once a month you can afford to go out for a meal at a restaurant. It's all about self. What can I achieve for me? And oddly, he says, that focus on self produces a heart that is weighed down and is not joyful, is not happy, and is not living in the light of Jesus coming. The second thing, almost on the other extreme, he says, your hearts will be weighed down with the anxieties of life, about the worries of life about how do I pay the next mortgage repayment, about how do I get my children to university, about what does happen next year when I don't know this or I don't know that, and the anxieties, genuine concerns and worries, but they become such anxieties that they're all your heart can ever focus on. They're all you're ever thinking about, and you've forgotten about that day that Jesus returns. And what those two dangers have in common is they're all about today, aren't they? Maybe not literally today, but they're all about this moment in time. How can I live the best life? Drunkenness, carousing. How can I live my best life now? Or, my goodness, life is so hard now. Anxieties and worries. But they all are about now, aren't they? And Jesus says that's what we need to be careful of. Living a life that is only about now. And not living a life that is about Jesus' great return first and foremost.